Hello and welcome to the next tutorial pre uh, This time I will show you how to analyze uh, cavity radiation. Uh, so let's create a new model first. Uh, this will be a 2D uh, model. Uh, like I showed you before, uh, it's possible to perform heat transfer analysis in, in 2D as well. And uh, the default unit system. And now I will uh, import the geometry. Uh, geometry is very simple in this case. Uh, you can see this um, in FreeCAD as well. Uh, those are just three faces mm, created out of the uh, sketches using uh, this uh, uh, option mm, in FreeCAD uh, make uh, face, this one, make face for wires. And so th those are just the, the, the three faces. Uh, and they are recognized as shells uh, since they, they, they are 2D dimension uh, geometries. Uh, so I have to uh, mesh them now. Mm, I have to specify the meshing parameters. Uh, I will use 50 millimeters for the maximum element size. And now I will uh, generate the mesh. And this, this mesh uh, will be uh, sufficient in this case. Uh, now let's define the material. Mm, uh, since the, the analysis will be transient, I have to specify a density, uh, specific heat and, and thermal uh, expansion. Let's start from the density. I will specify the uh, value uh, right here. And those will be uh, typical values for copper. Mm, now uh, specific heat. I can convert this uh, using, uh, using the uh, capabilities of, of this input field. Uh, so that now the, the units are uh, correct and uh, thermal conductivity mm, this will be uh, the, the value uh, specified uh, right uh, here uh, so let's change the name to copper and confirm this and now i'll create a section mm, i'll change the thickness to one meter uh, it's not that important but for the visualization purposes and, and other uh, potential uh, cases uh, it, it can be specified as the, the right value uh, so let's mm, apply this mm, and now i will proceed to mm, the actual setup of the analysis uh, let's start by defining the analysis step this will be heat transfer step like i said uh, heat steady state is off uh, and i will override the default um, incrementation settings i will specify the maximum number of increments it will be 500 and i will change the uh, time period uh, to a uh, quite large value and that's because um, I, I'm tr actually trying to simulate uh, steady state uh, but without using the steady state setting uh, since with this setting it, mm, there could be some convergence issues in this uh, mm, specific case so mm, I'm actually performing uh, uh, transient analysis and reaching the steady state uh, that's the why the I use the, the large time period and large initial time increment to, uh, to make the analysis a bit uh, faster uh, so let's uh, confirm this mm, and now I can uh, set the boundary condition at load but first let's define initial conditions I will specify the uh, initial temperature uh, of 500k for the whole uh, model and now I have to define the uh, BCs and, and loads mm, so let's start uh, let, let I will show you how this uh, problem is uh, actually considered so we have mm, three uh, external faces uh, they have uh, heat fluxes or mm, temperature applied and then we have the three internal faces uh, that emit radiation mm, between each other uh, so mm, actually actually this is the 2d problem and um, uh, i have to specify mm, heat flux and temperatures to uh, apply them to the outer uh, faces and uh, of course they will be mm, transmitted by mm, conduction to, to this, these uh, internal faces and then they will emit radiation i can't apply everything to just to the lines uh, it's, it's not possible with these elements and with this uh, analysis so uh, i have to do it this way well, that's why the uh, th this uh, that, that's why the boundary conditions loads are applied to outer faces and um, uh, inner faces have just the radiation uh, properties so let's go back to the model we have the uh, hide the uh, mesh uh, and now i will specify uh, loads and boundary conditions uh, let's uh, apply uh, heat fluxes first mm, let's uh, apply uh, heat flux to this bottom face uh, and then the value will be uh, in this case uh, i will specify this in uh, actually in watts uh, per uh, meter uh, squared and it will be uh, converted by uh, prepomix uh, then mm, I can specify uh, the uh, flux for this left face and uh, this will be uh, the value uh, right uh, here and again it's, it's converted mm, by uh, prepomex to the correct units 
Mm, and now mm, I just have to define the temperature mm, to be applied to uh, this uh, phase right here and the value will be uh, 400k and now mm, I have uh, all the uh, values specified for outer faces I just have to define irradiation conditions for the inner faces uh, and uh, as you probably uh, already know uh, we will be looking for mm, temperatures of these two faces to which uh, heat flux are applied and eventually um, uh, heat flux for, for this um, uh, one phase uh, but mainly we are interested in temperatures of these two phases or actually these, these inter inner faces since it does equivalent uh, all right, um, now let's define the radiation conditions. We used uh, radiation in previous tutorial, but uh, it was different kind of radiation. It wasn't cavity radiation, uh, but rather uh, we were simulating exchange with environment. Uh, so uh, this time I will select cavity radiations. I will specify the name of the cavity. Uh, it has to. It needs to have uh, three uh, characters. Uh, so I will just uh, use this, this short name. And uh, for the region, I will specify this um, this uh, phase uh, first. Uh, I have to define uh, the sink temperature and the emissivity. For the sink temperature, I will use uh, minus 10K, and uh, that's rather unusual, but um, uh, the thing is that, according to Calculix's documentation, negative values uh, of sink temperature in, in Kelvins uh, are used to um, make it sure that the solver knows that the cavity is closed. So that's I, why I use this value, mm, and for the emissivity, it will be 0 0.3 uh, in this in the case of this phase. Uh, so mm, I can uh, create another radiation condition. Uh, I will apply it to mm, this uh, left phase, uh, and uh, it will be again cavity radiation with the short name, again the same uh, uh, sink temperature, and in this case emissivity will be 0 0.7. And one more radiation condition, I will apply it to mm, this phase right here. Uh, again, it will be cavity radiation with the same name and uh, the same uh, sink temperature. And emissivity will be 0 0.5 uh, in this case. All right, mm, now we have all the uh, fluxes and, and radiation uh, properties defined. Uh, I just have to uh, change one thing. Uh, I have to go to model settings and uh, set uh, absolute zero and uh, temperature and Stefan Boltzmann constant. I will just slightly change this and uh, that's it. All right, mm, so uh, I think that um, the analysis is now prepared. Everything was, was set as it should be. Uh, and I can submit the, the simulation and then uh, check the results. Results are available now, uh, so let's check them. Uh, and now we are interested in temperatures, uh, mainly uh, temperature of this um, phase and this one. And uh, here I have uh, analytical solution, as always, and uh, it's based on Bejan's uh, book, so you can uh, check it for, for the equations. Mm, I had to modify them slightly, but mm, you can see that uh, I use... Th those are few factors, mm, that's, that's important to mention. And you can see mm, that I used Maxima plugin to, to solve this system of uh, six equations. And then I obtained the uh, main uh, results, which are uh, defined here with uh, co conversion to uh, Celsius degrees. So let's check the values. Mm, let's uh, first compare the mm, value for the first phase, the phase number one. And that's the uh, ra one right here, so the, the bottom phase, actually, that, that's number one. And the, th that's the value that we are expecting. Mm, I can use query tool. Uh, I could check uh, check it note by note, uh, but uh, it will be uh, much more efficient to uh, use the uh, edge uh, option of the query tool. And now I can uh, find the maximum uh, value. And that's what I'm interested here in, in, in the maximum uh, value. And uh, we can easily compare this with the analytical solution. You can see that it's uh, pretty uh, close uh, to what we are expecting. Mm, and now for this left phase, uh, let's check the, the value. Uh, and th of course, this is the, the phase right here. Uh, so we are comparing with, uh, again, uh, simulation. And mm, you can see, looking at the maximum temperature, uh, that we are uh, once again pretty close to uh, the analytical solution uh, that we obtained uh, in this uh, sheet. Uh, in SMAF. All right, um, uh, that's it uh, when it comes to this uh, tutorial. Mm, one more note is that I was asked to share the geometry uh, of the uh, examples uh, presented in these tutorials. 
so I will upload the step files uh, to some hosting website and share the link in the description of the e each video. I will do this for all the previous videos, this one and uh, subsequent videos, so uh, check the descriptions and uh, you will find uh, the links to, to geometries so that you don't have to model them uh, yourself. Uh, all right, mm, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. As always, feel free to ask any questions and suggest topics for future tutorials in the comments. Uh, have a nice day and uh, see you in the next video.